right, guys. I think I did it. Though not in the way that I intended. So, this is my calculator update. Numero trace. The number three. And, uh, so I've got my keypad. Got some new wires. So that I could actually finish this because I need a lot more. I've added some buttons right here that you can see for functionalities, which I'll show you guys in a minute. LCD is still connected how it was. See, I ran into this problem. I had the I.O. expanders that Dr. Drexel gave me, but I couldn't get them to work in order to drive the LCD, which I would have had to do because currently I'm using the analog ports for the LCD. And the I.O. expander takes two analog ports in order to run. So I wasn't really gaining anything by using the I.O. expander. So I instead realized I could finagle the software to get it to do some stuff that I wanted it to do. Uh, in order to do the alternate functions that I wanted to have as part of my calculator. Because it's a scientific calculator. So now I'll just demonstrate what I did in order to get those to work. So as you can see on the screen here, I have 12, and then I made it so if I do times times 12 and hit the equals button, it gives me the square of 12. And another change that I made is that now that answer is automatically saved into the variable so you can use it on the next line. So now if I do times divide, that's my shortcut for square root. So right now it's going to take the square root of 144, which is 12. So I added in square, square root, uh, and then I also have, i uh, clear it off there, I can do 1, and then if I hit this top button right here, which is kind of behind these wires, it's going to give me the cosine of 1, or the sine of 1, sorry, I forgot. Uh, so yeah, it says one sign, which means the sign of one. It's just the notation that I ended up being able to do. So there's that, and then I'll clear that, and I'll enter in another one. And this one's going to give me the cosine of one, which is right there. And note, this isn't in radians, it's in uh, normal uh, decimal, so it's not going to give you the actual radian values of cosine and such of 1. And then, uh, last but not least, I have the tangent button. So that gives us the tangent. And I also managed to rig it up so that using the same shortcut that I used before, I can do 1 times, and since I have 1 times on there, I can get the cosecant by hitting the sign button. And very similarly, one times hitting the cosine button, I can get the secant. And one times here, I can get the cotangent. So I have a couple extra functions added. Other than that, I fixed my parser with some problems that it was having. Like I said, I added in the line-to-line uh, -line exchange, and that actually works not only, like, say I did 12 plus 12 equals 24, and then I do a plus 2 equals, and then if I clear it, I think... This may work, I'm not sure. Uh, so then plus 2 equals? Yeah, it does. So it saves it uh, indefinitely until you overwrite it. Or, uh, yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a all clear function, which is probably going to be something like a, a key and then equals to give an all clear, and it clears the variables out too. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to add in a few more functions. I think I might be able to squeeze one more button onto here, which means I can get, I don't know, however many functions. I'm going to try to add in uh, log, and I'm going to try to add in decimal entry. So I'm going to be able to, if you see, this is something that I didn't have before. I can do two 
divided by 5 and equals, and it gives me a decimal. That's something I didn't have before. I think I'm going to try to get a button that will actually enter a decimal so that you can do like 2.5 times 2. Uh, so that's something that I'm going to try to get added in before tomorrow. But I think it's working out pretty well. Uh, just a couple more tweaks, maybe, like I said, one more button. It kind of sucks that I couldn't use the I.O. expander, but uh, I think I found an equally beneficial way to do it. So yeah, I'm off to finish this sucker. See ya.